Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Craig, and today we're going to be showing you how to stack. A few people in the comment section have been asking how do I stack things and what way would I go about it. And, uh, well, we're back in the armory video. Well, not the armory video. We're back in the uh, armory from that one video of how to make rifle racks, which is a part of stacking. Anyway, anyway let's go over to something we haven't stacked before. It's literally using the uh, stuff that doesn't need the axis controls or... And stuff with the axis controls. So, like, let's say gas masks facing a particular way that you want to. So, when I step in here, like all the helmets are facing this way, gas masks, hazmat suits, and then I have the uniforms where I want them. And uh, I don't have a lot more stacked in here just yet because I'm working on a different build at the moment. Anyway, we're going to look at the pistol shelf right now. We have a bunch of 10mm pistols that fit perfectly on this shelf and don't fall true. I've literally have not needed the axis for this, so let's see. Let's pick up one ten mil, and it should work. If it doesn't, I'll use the axis. But all right, let's see. That's up and down, left and right, up and down, left and right. All right, it takes a bit of spinning around because I just want to get it in perfectly. If you want to just try without doing the whole axis turning which you can change the direction of what you're holding with by clicking down the left thumbstick. All right, let's, let's head up here and pop this on the top shelf, shall we? And voila, there you go. It stays up there, it looks nice. As long as you don't use the workshop mode to put it on the shelf, it won't fall through the like table or floor or anything like that, as most things done. I've noticed that a lot with other things I did before I started using the X axis the axis not the x-axis the axis control and a lot of things have stayed on shelves like these these guys are still standing fine absolutely fine and then we have uh, some combat rifles that i use the yeah just the combat rifles are pretty hard to stack on the walls there's only certain weapons that you can do mostly it would be thompson's uh, not thompson's the submachine guns and the hunting rifles which you know i like them in the green form meaning that i get a better look at their the buttstock the little round bit of the buttstock near the trigger uh pistol trigger of the gun so i'm able to know where to stack them up correctly along with the magazines like these kind of things are easy to stack all right let's take an example if you uh, you could really do this with anything like any miscellaneous item that you want to stack or anything like that so we're just going to grab let's say all right, let's we'll do something easy. Let's see. Since I uh, I don't want to go on the inside of doing this, I knocked over my rifle rack doing that once. So I'm going to do this from the other side. And uh, I'm going to drop three hazmat suits. Three hazmat suits are dropped. I'm going to pick up one in workshop mode, like so. See? You're able to pick it up and then pot on top of something or whatever but that seems cool then afterwards mo most times it'll fall through the floor now we're going to leave workshop mode and do some precision uh, precision stacking <laughs> this uh, this video is kind of funny in my head to be honest uh all right let's see if we can get it in Alright, sometimes there's a small glitch where it won't render in properly or freeze the item in place. There we go, and that's how that's done. And, and of course, that's how the rest of them are done as well. Like so. And like so. Uh, the X axis depends on which which one clicks first. Sometimes it will stay on the first one, but when you click down again after, if it still goes the same direction or there's like a little left or right kind of movement, you'll be able to change that again to a full left and right instead of an angled left and right. But anyway, that's just a quick example of how to stack like clothing items onto a shelf. You can do the exact same thing with the army fatigues, the hats, even the mods as well. You can stack them on top of each other via the uh, axis control. And then the gas marks are a bit tricky now, but you once you get them the direction that you want them looking at, you, then you'll be able to do it. And then the helmets as well is a tad bit tricky as well. 
but you know it's not too bad. Right. Uh, is there anything else I can try stack just to see if something will stack? Let's see. Um, some machine gun parts. Uh, all mag rifles. We're we're gonna try one of these today. The all mag rifle. I don't know if you can stack these or not. I actually haven't tried this yet. This is like a giant Lewis gun. So there we go. We got the gun to stay up fine. Up oh, and it fell, so that's fine. We have the left and right going on here, or the up and down really. And then we can do another click, and we'll change the left and right in that direction. Then that's up and down again. And then that. Then this. Then that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. But when you're going in, like, move very slowly while you're going to stack as well, so you can see where the buttstock reaches the shelf, like. You can't really tell since you're re until you're really close to it. But anyway, then you let go, and voila, you have one stacked rifle. And then let's try that again, just see. <laughs> tell you what, I'm gonna get let's get cocky. Let's see, can I do that again? Because I couldn't do it with combat rifles; so it was just literally impossible with them. So we're gonna see. We got the up and down here, left and right, the curve turn. There we go, that's almost straight now. And depending on which angle you hold them, if you put them in that way, they're going to turn. But if you turn with the angle, you'll be able to put them straight. So. And like so. All in all, the base, uh, the, the, like, the literal, the literal, like, metagame for this is having patience. Literally, it took a while to get used to putting the hunting rifles up here and follow a tray. I used to just grab them and swing them around the room till they faced the right way when I stopped and popped them next to 5mm boxes which were huge at the time. They're tiny now. But anyway, yeah. Stacking's pretty easy as long as if you're doing weapons and stuff like that, uh, pick it up first in workshop mode. Then put it in the direction that you're going to be stacking it, and then once you usually pick it up the first time, it'll be going up or down, like back and forth. So you'll be able to put the like the rifle uh, barrel facing up that way, or have the trigger and the and the pistol grip and the butt facing the other way. So you have it that way. But with these, I wouldn't advise it because they have that little handle on them and they will fly. I've seen one fly really far around this room at one point. Uh, because I was just trying to stack it on this and it turned it upside down by accident and it just flew halfway across the room. Weird glitch. Don't know if that still happens, but you know. Anyway, this is a this has been a pretty quick to like little tutorial on how to stack. You can do this with most items, cups, miscellaneous, junk, even bits of junk that you want to have them in certain places like you know, like I said before, the modification stand or anything on tables and stuff like that and rifles and pistols and well, I haven't tried stacking a rocket launcher on a rack right now but it could be interesting maybe but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, I promised to do this one today so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed it see you around next time